Welcome back gang, this is the insulation video, it's not going to be a long one, I'm not going to bore you with a basic but I'll go around quickly and show you how we've gone about insulating our van. So as I showed you in the intro we used the uh, recycled bottle insulation up in the cavities here as you can't really cut king span to fit in and around these pillars here. So. We put the recycled bottle insulation in here. So as you can see, that runs all around the top. Put it up in the tops of the doors here, all the way around the top there. And then it's actually in behind where the wiring stuff is. Now all the wires are in, runs along the bottom, all the way along the bottom here. and. Here, at the back, I'll show you in a little extended clip, but I've wrapped the insulation over towards the door mechanism with a plastic bag, as there was a few drip lines coming down here. Wasn't bad over here, and where the registration plate is, there wasn't any signs of dripping either, so I've just put it without bagging there. Uh, the rear doors here have used 60 millimeter king span as opposed to 50 on the inside of the doors because the is actually a little bit deeper there and then I've cut it down to 50 millimeter king span towards the outside where it goes down to 50 millimeters and just one thing to show you here before all the insulation was put along the the bottoms all the way around just these are the clips at from the outside bumper panels as you can see water does actually come through these clips and just comes down here and there'll be a drain hole located somewhere which it'll make its way out of but basically just went along the back of these clips and sealed them up with Sikaflex 212 sealant and we've got Kingspan 50mm king span around these cavities here. I showed you the insulation, that's basically just the bubble wrap sheeting which I'll be putting over the whole of the walls behind these panels here. 50mm king span here and here. 25mm king span is insulating the bulkhead. What else? I've stuffed the bottle insulation all the way around the front of this panel here and also on the other side and on the ceilings we used 25 millimeter king span all the way around as you can see as I mentioned in previous videos turn the lighting down there it does cut up quite nicely to this wood frame and obviously brought the light fittings, the light lighting wires, etc. down in the corresponding places. Now I haven't fixed these up yet because the solar panels aren't actually on the roof yet. And I need to get in behind here so I can in behind here so I can get a bolt through to fix the brackets to the roof properly. Same with the door, sliding door here. see the drip holes down the back of the plastic bumpers on the outside so I forgot to do these I'm gonna do these now with sticker flex and that's gonna be filled with bottle insulation recycled bottle insulation also got some expandy foam here that's the gun and the expanded foam so all of these little gaps in here up here and around this corners here these are all going to be expandy formed and obviously above the door there that's going to be filled with bottle insulation as well and if there's any gaps I'll probably fill that with a bit of king span before I expandy form but I'm going to be expandy forming in these joists as well now just one thing to note, when you're putting your nozzle in here, you do get the extension nozzles but make sure you don't squirt too much expandy foam in here because it can 
expand and push the panel away from the actual structural member here so obviously do a test see how much the expanding form actually expands because some of them do expand at different rates only put enough in to fill the actual structural member cavity and you should be good to go so these were the stick pins that we used to stick the insulation to the ceiling and the side walls this is for the king span so this is the king span up on the ceiling and then these are the little clips that slide on the end of the stick pins once the insulation is up on the roof then you simply just fold the end of the pin over easy they've just got a little sticky back plastic on the back of them so I'll just peel that off and as you can see the king span just pushes over the top super so as I mentioned at the beginning we used the recycled bottle insulation and you can see Jen's stuffing that right up inside the cavities that you can't actually see you want to make sure you do this and get this insulation into as many of the voids as you possibly can this is just gonna improve the overall insulation of the van and how it's gonna cope in temperature fluctuations so we'd already pre-cut these boards for in between the structural members on the ceiling to size so this is just just putting them up inside of there on them stick pins which I've just shown these ceiling insulation parts are quite easy they are square rectangles so they go in quite simple insulated the back of the bulkhead with 25 millimeter king span so that didn't take too long either and then I just sealed all the gaps over with the foil insulation tape and once that was done it was time for expand the foam make sure when you're putting your gun onto the expand the foam canister that that is the gun is upside down stops anything from spilling out lock and load so you'll get the hang of this if you've never used one before the quite easy to use so it's just point and point and press and make sure you know how much this actually expands so you don't want to overfill the cavity because then you're just wasting some foam and that's about it <laughs> So I just put that little sound clip in of me filling the structural members here with expanding the foam to give you some sort of idea of how much you're putting in. It is literally just a little blast on the trigger there. You don't want to overfill these or you're going to get blebs on the top of your van where the roof panel has been pushed away from these structural members. So that's it. So as you can see we've got the bubble wrap sheeting on the ceiling here. Pretty much everybody that's doing a van build uses this stuff. Acts as a vapor barrier and also fills in any gaps from the other insulation that is sitting in behind it. So I would advise you to use this stuff and then basically you're just using the foil tape to close in any gaps and join the, the sheets together. That's pretty much all I can say about that. Insulation pretty simple. Stick to a plan, make it simple, and you can't go far wrong. As usual guys, thanks for watching. Follow our Instagram and social media pages, and like and subscribe for up and coming videos. Cheers! Thanks for watching! See you next time!